Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, we'll talk about the upcoming transit of Jupiter through the sign of Aquarius. We all know in the last few months, Jupiter was indeed transiting from this particular sign. And for a short period of time, it moved back into Capricorn along with Saturn. Yes, it created a lot of chaos again. But now Jupiter is again ready to move into Aquarius. This will happen on 20th November 2021 and Jupiter will stay there up to 13th April 2022. Now before we talk about the impact of this transit on each and every ascendant, well you can listen to this analysis as per your moon sign as well. So before we talk about um, each and every ascendant, each and every moon sign, let's understand what does Jupiter in Aquarius truly means. So the Aquarius sign is also known as the Kumbha Rashi. Kumbha comes from the word Kumbhaka. Kumbhaka means to retain something, to retain the vitality of life. So if you look at the sign of Aquarius, it's this huge pot which is filled with water. Water is what? It is a very essential element on this earth. It gives life. So Kumbha means to retain something. And Kumbhaka also means the retention of breath. If you are aware of the yoga, there are certain exercises where you have to retain your breath for a certain period of time. This retention of breath, this retention of prana is important to restore your vitality, energy, to detoxify you, to make you more stronger. So Kumbha Rashi has a lot to do with retention. Okay, and that's why it rules the 11th house of achievements and desires. Like you are attaining the Siddhis, you are attaining achievements, acquiring achievements with the help of the 5th house. That is your skills. So 5th house is skills and 11th house is achievements happening because of those skills. So Kumbha Rashi has a lot to do with achievements and retention. Now, as Jupiter is transiting from Aquarius, what kind of retention are you doing? Well, Jupiter is the karaka of life. It is the karaka of vitality. It is the karaka of prosperity, happiness, and also family life. Jupiter is also material wealth. So we are doing retention of something which is important for our life. Let me give you a more detailed example. Have you ever seen the symbol of Aquarius? You might see these two waves. One wave like this and there's another wave below it. Now the very first wave, it's you. The ocean of your choices, your consciousness, the ocean of your desires. Now the next wave is the ocean of the divine, the divine consciousness, the ocean which contains the divine plans. So Aquarius is the sign where your plans are coming together with the plans of divine. So when Jupiter enters into this sign of Aquarius, it's like molding your life, shaping your life as per the divine plans. It's like your plan versus the divine plan. So it's not a very easy transit. If you have watched my previous video where we were talking about uh, Jupiter's transit over natal planets in Aquarius, over there I have mentioned this one shlok given by Varaha Mihira where he is saying Jupiter's transit from Aquarius is equivalent to Jupiter's transit from Cancer. So it's a very good transit. Jupiter through Aquarius is a brilliant transit to achieve what you seek for your prosperity, for your material wealth. But it's a difficult transit as well. Do not forget the role of Saturn in Rahu over here because Aquarius is ruled by these planets. So it's a tough transit because it's your plans versus the divine plans. Okay, and there is a reason why Jupiter is transiting from Aquarius just before Saturn moves into Aquarius because it wants you to retain the vitality, 
It wants you to retain your valuable assets and skills, make the best use of them. Accumulate more and more vitality, power, fitness, energy in your life so that you can deal with the structural changes happening in future. You can make the best use of your opportunities. So yes, Jupiter's transit from Aquarius is about, yes, fulfilling your desires, but also transforming your life, making adjustments as per the divine plan. There is achievement in this transit, but it could be not what you were expecting. Things might take a different turn. So you need to make some changes as per that. And that's why uh, Jupiter's transit in Aquarius is a bit tough, but good as well. And there's one more thing which we have ignored from a long time. As Jupiter is transiting from Aquarius, it's one house that is the house which is ruled by Sagittarius is hemmed between Saturn and Ketu. Saturn in the Capricorn, Ketu in Scorpio. So we'll talk about this particular house for each and every ascendant, what kind of results this will bring. So let's start with each and every ascendant. For Aries ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the 11th house and it also rules the 9th and the 12th house of your horoscope. This transit of Jupiter is going to bring good growth in income and also growth in overall productivity at the work front. A sudden opportunity might come in your way which would bring the need to learn a new skill. Why? Because right now, the 9th and the 10th Lord of your chart, Jupiter and Saturn are currently in a two-twill alignment in the 10th and the 11th house. Also, the 9th house of higher learning is hemmed between Ketu and Saturn. So this does demand modification of the skills or maybe learning a new knowledge, maybe taking a risk, maybe accepting a new opportunity when you are not sure about it. Therefore, it is challenging, but great foundational changes are happening right now. You might be worried about a new risk you are taking currently, but it's taking to a new path. Jupiter's dispositor, Rahu, is in the second house in Taurus, and Jupiter is itself in the 11th house. Therefore, it's a very good time for financial abundance and to save money for the future projects. And from the 11th house, Jupiter is aspecting the 3rd, 5th and the 7th house, definitely bringing new connections, new people in life. It can be in form of colleagues, friends, business partner or even a marriage partnership. New connections are bringing new ideas and aspirations. But beware of some people who are here just to take advantage of your success and power. For Taurus Ascendant, Jupiter is transiting from the 10th house and in your chart, it rules the 8th and the 11th house. This transit is dedicated in making conscious efforts to mend a certain situation. You are trying to correct something. Because 8th house, which is ruled by Jupiter, this house is ruled by Sagittarius, is hemmed between Ketu and Saturn. And the 8th Lord Jupiter is transiting three places away in the 10th house. This situation is something related to work, maybe related to a partnership, which is right now creating a lot of pressure, or it might have created pressure in the past few months. So even if there is lack of clarity, Jupiter is now ready to bless you with the ray of hope. Therefore, now you won't be stuck. You are moving ahead with this transit of Jupiter. There is no looking back. It's like everything is falling into the right place. You were destined to walk that difficult path in the future because it's for your higher good. Now you will be more aware why certain things happened in the previous few months. Also, you are going to emerge out 
from this stressful situation. You will be more hopeful and positive. You will believe in your efforts and actions. Professional growth, best use of your own skills and attaining more respect and value is going to happen. Also, Rahu, which is the dispositor for Jupiter, is transiting from first house in Taurus. And of course, Jupiter is in Aquarius. So relationships are going to be a major theme. The 11th Lord Jupiter is traveling 12 places away from its actual house. So there might be a delay in attaining your goals, but it is not denied. You are definitely moving forward and leaving a great impact on others. For Gemini Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the 9th house and it rules the 7th and the 10th house of your horoscope. Well, this transit of Jupiter wants to tell you that this is not the end. In fact, from here starts a new chapter, especially when it comes to attaining your freedom and choosing your future path. No one can stop you. There is no looking back. You are now ready to move ahead and make the best use of your opportunities to come. Now, 7th Lord Jupiter is transiting three places away in the ninth house. And the 7th house, which is indeed ruled by Jupiter, that is a sign of Sagittarius, this house is hemmed between Ketu and Saturn. So all of this is indicating that currently your life is being deeply influenced by others. Like you are being pressurized by certain people or certain situations to think and act in a particular way. Maybe you are too worried about the expectations people are having from you, especially the partner, in-laws, or maybe the people at the work front. So now you are moving beyond this and taking a leap of faith and trusting yourself. Further, it's a very good transit to learn a new skill, attain more knowledge, be more aware of your professional field, the new advancements happening in this particular field. Further, you will also learn about spiritual path, how you can attain more strength through the path of spirituality. So spirituality will bring great rescue, motivation and happiness. And 10th Lord being 12 places away in the 9th house, it might bring travel to far distant places, maybe for learning, maybe because of work. And yes, this is a transit which is telling you there is no shortcut. Whatever you seek, no, you have to go on a long path. And Saturn Jupiter's alignment in the 8th, and the ninth house, the 212 alignment, is indicating whatever you want, you can achieve it, but do not doubt your own worth. For Cancer Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the eighth house and it rules the sixth and the ninth house of your chart. Jupiter's transit is bringing a blessing in disguise. Maybe a very uneasy situation, change or challenge might come in your way, but it's leading to more good opportunities and profits in future. Because here Jupiter is the ninth law, do not forget that ninth house is a house of upliftment in life. Therefore, as it is transiting from 8th house, maybe the change is not good, it's not acceptable, but it will take you to the right track. From the 8th house, Jupiter is mostly aspecting those houses which are being ruled by the air signs and these houses thus play a great role in mental peace and clarity. Like Jupiter is aspecting the 12th house, which is ruled by Gemini. 12th house is the house of isolation, subconscious mind. Then it aspects the 4th house, 
which is ruled by Libra and this house is representing mind and mental peace. So this transit is dedicated towards correcting your mindset and thought process. A lot of overthinking is going on. You're analyzing the outer world and the inner world both, trying to understand who you are, what you want and what the world is giving you, how the world is challenging you. So overthinking is happening, yes, and you're trying to attain more freedom in life. You want to pursue a path of your own choice. It could be any aspect of life. You seek freedom, but something out there, a change or maybe an insecurity is not letting you move forward. So I would say the right word is probing. You might do a lot of research, um, introspection, investigation to make important changes in life. So this is a very good transit for this uh, process, improving yourself to make your health stable, to understand your relationships well. Moreover, trying to attain clarity how others feel about you and not to be uh, more sensitive to other people. Like you need not to prove that you are the best. You know, you don't want to feel validated all the time. Loving yourself is important. Sixth house is ruled by Jupiter. That is the sign of Sagittarius. And currently it's hemmed between Ketu and Saturn and Jupiter is in the eighth house. So health means great care. Do not damage your health. Do not damage your happiness because of excess of competition. Maybe because someone else is not supporting you. You will eventually win. Jupiter here is strengthening your power, your faith system. You must have faith on yourself. Major challenges in partnership may happen where you and your partner have to really work hard to blend in into the relationship, to blend the traditions in this marriage, to blend the faith in this marriage. Further, gain through inheritance, gain through partnership and even purchasing of uh, something valuable is indicated. For the Leo Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the 7th house. It rules the 5th and the 8th house in your horoscope. With Jupiter, the 5th Lord, transiting from the 7th house and its dispositor, Rahu, transiting from 10th house, this is a good time which could bring more fame, reputation and popularity at the work front. Instant, unexpected rise at the professional front. People will be now more aware to your work and skills and though on one hand it is giving appreciation and success, it might also lead to gossip behind your back. So both things are coming towards you. Also, some kind of a gain through marriage partner or a business partner is indicated. Career growth is definitely happening. And if your question is how much career growth is happening, well, it depends upon your current dasha and how patient you are. Because Saturn is transiting from sixth house and it demands intense patience and determination to stick to your goals. As fifth lord, Jupiter is transiting from seventh house. This could also mean new friendships, a new romantic connection or an existing connection leading to a new partnership or marriage is happening. Some situations or changes may happen which might be a bit out of control. Now the fifth house which is ruled by Jupiter, the house of Sagittarius, is hemmed between Ketu and Saturn. So it can give too much of anxiety related to children. It can give anxiety related to a work project which you consider as your own child. Some kind of difficulties with respect to education and learning may happen mostly for the students, for the younger children. So problems with learning is happening. Something out there 
is challenging you to upgrade your life, to make the best use of your skills, a major block, or simply there is this dissatisfaction that I'm not achieving enough, I'm not being given the right credit. But do not be afraid of this because uh, Jupiter is going to give you great upliftment and it's important to understand the needs of your partner because your partner may feel that you are not being able to understand what he or she seeks from this connection. For Virgo Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the 6th house it rules the 4th and the 7th house of your horoscope. Now, the 4th house and Jupiter, both are very important aspects of your chart because both of them are being used to determine one's happiness. So, this transit of 4th Lord Jupiter from the 6th house and 4th house hemmed between Ketu and Saturn Definitely, you are looking out for happiness. You are looking out for a reason which can bring smile on your face. You are looking out for what makes you happy and what doesn't. But the, the lesson is, happiness comes from within. You cannot find it anywhere. Most importantly, you must understand your happiness doesn't depend upon others and how much value they give to you so a strong focus is on towards making yourself more stronger that's why it's transiting from the sixth house of wellness and health there is this immediate situation where you must focus on your positivity vitality and health further there is more focus towards your mother's well-being. You might work hard to take care of her health or maybe it could be other way that you are gaining something from your mother. It could be an asset, it could be motivation, some kind of help and healing. You may try to purchase a property or you might be doing some legal work to attain a property or maybe simply resolving a legal dispute related to home and property. Jupiter's dispositor, the 6th house co-lord, Rahu, is transiting from 9th house in Taurus. For some people, this transit could bring a new risk. This is a new opportunity which might appear to be a risk for you. Moving away from your home to improve your financial growth and comforts may happen moving into foreign lands to acquire higher learning and knowledge may also happen but the major theme is working on a new lifestyle new habits and a healthy diet working on your wellness is the major theme for this transit for libra ascendant jupiter will transit from your fifth house and it rules the third and the sixth house. This transit of Jupiter from the fifth house is going to bring more knowledge and modification of the existing skills. Jupiter will help you to express your creativity, power and efficiency to the fullest, like no one can stop you. The only thing which can stop you is your overthinking and too much of focus on such people who don't deserve your attention. In fact, these are the people who always point out your smallest mistakes and make things more miserable. Jupiter is bringing respect and popularity. Your skills will be appreciated. Further, more connections are coming into your life and these people will assist you in your work. Or there could be a start of new project happening soon. As third house is ruled by Sagittarius and this house is hemmed between Saturn and Ketu, be very careful about 
your company. Yes, there are many people coming into your life, but are all of them your well-wishers? Is anyone blocking your growth? So you have to see that. You must learn to create boundaries in your relationships. This is the major theme. You need to understand who is helping you to grow, who is supporting you, and who is just, you know, dragging you to the pit of misery, making you more underconfident. Siblings may require your help or they may require your guidance. You'll be working very hard for the upliftment of your siblings and the loved ones. For Scorpio Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the fourth house. It rules the second and the fifth house of your chart. This transit of Jupiter from the fourth house is dedicated to family, loved ones, and even important partnerships. You might travel back to your home in this period. For some people, it could be that you will miss your home, your loved ones. And for some, it can be that you are not finding enough growth at your home, maybe in your birth country. A lot depends upon how the natal Jupiter is placed and what all planets are placed in your fourth house and also your Mahadasha and your Antardasha. But as second Lord Jupiter is transiting from the fourth house and the second house is hemmed between Saturn and Ketu, the major theme is family, home and finances. You are trying to save money right now, maybe to extend your family, maybe for your loved ones, for your children, or just to purchase something important, home, maybe a new vehicle. So purchasing of a new thing is indicated, something related to your home. It could be a car, it could be a property, and for that you are struggling a bit. There is delay in this process, but it will happen. And buying more luxuries and utility for your home is indicated I have told you how Kumbha is associated to retaining something. So you're trying to retain some kind of family assets, traditions, wealth, or maybe trying to retain the peace and the prosperity at the domestic front. You may also witness a celebration in the family, but along with that, there is a lot of bickering in the family connections, like argument over um, trivial issues, misunderstanding. Children might become a cause of major concern because Jupiter is the fifth lord traveling 12 places away in the fourth house. Gain through agriculture or maybe more focus on gardening, growing your own food may happen and it will be very interesting and stress relieving. Now Jupiter is transiting from Aquarius. So the fourth house co-lord, the dispositor for Jupiter, Rahu is transiting from the seventh house. So partnership may become again a major theme. Your partner may have very unrealistic expectations from you and adjustments are required. For Sagittarius Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the third house. It rules the first and the fourth house of your horoscope. This transit of Jupiter from the third house is helping you to move beyond your own self-made limitations. Now you will be able to push yourself and move ahead constantly, making the right choices, making the right efforts at the right time. In the past few months, there are certain experiences coming through family and also the unknown people which are blocking your path. In fact, these situations, these experiences were constantly pushing you to doubt yourself. So yes, there is self-doubt and there is a sense of stagnation, questioning your own worth and position in the society. 
But now Jupiter is adding more strength, optimism and quest to move ahead. Be more confident about your decisions and efforts. A new inning is indicated by Jupiter with third lord Rahu in the sixth house and Jupiter in the third house. And the first house hemmed between Saturn and Ketu, there is a need to take a risk and show courage and faith in the current situation. You will be successful in this current challenge or competition. Financial growth will happen. Some differences between you and your siblings or maybe between you and your colleagues might be there. And most importantly, you must express yourself. Do not hesitate to speak and express your skills and potential. For Capricorn Ascendant, Jupiter will transit from the second house. It rules the third and the twelfth house of your horoscope. This transit of Jupiter from the second house will make you more conscious about what you eat. So yes, food is a major theme. Jupiter being the twelfth lord in the second house and Saturn being in the first house in Capricorn. There can be a health situation which demands great caution about what you eat. So food can be medicine, food can be poison as well. And the way you are getting more conscious about your food, you are also getting conscious about the people who are there in your life. Again, the 12th house is hemmed between Saturn and Ketu and the 12th Lord Jupiter is also the Lord of third house transiting from second house so you are working on understanding your relationships like you want to create certain healthy boundaries because you are the one who will determine how the other people are treating you so whatever experiences you have seen in the past you're trying to create some boundaries in your important relationships also in your family connections as well. Financially, Jupiter will bring more abundance and growth, especially if your work is connected to foreign lands, there will be more growth and prosperity. And even you may get some kind of financial aid coming through family, unexpected help may happen. With the second house co-lord Rahu in Taurus fifth house and Jupiter in Aquarius, Second house, you may become a part of a family event, social event, some kind of function and this event may bring more contacts and connections. It's a good transit if you are working in the field of finances, creativity, healthcare, anything which requires research or innovation. You will see more prosperity. Twelfth house, which is ruled by Sagittarius, is hemmed between Saturn and Ketu. And Jupiter is in the second house. So argument with family. Or maybe um, you are feeling a bit unimportant in the family zone. Something related to family is indicated. Some differences which are creating a sense of a loneliness or isolation. The 12th house is ruled by Sagittarius and it is hemmed between Saturn and Ketu and second lord is transiting from second house. So this can give an argument with family members over insignificant issues or really very really trivial matters might be there which is leading to this problem. And also you have great ambitions in your mind great aspirations but something out there is blocking you to move ahead maybe it's your own internal fear lack of faith on self okay i want this but don't you think it's impossible to get there like how will i do this this kind of self-doubt is there but eventually you will see everything will happen according to your plan you know you can achieve it at least try you might find out a different path which is more successful, more interesting. So moving ahead is important. 
for aquarius ascendant jupiter will transit from your first house it rules the second and the eleventh house of your chart the transit of jupiter from the first house will prove to be quite good with respect to all aspects of life your dreams are coming true whatever long-term plans you have in your mind this will definitely happen because here jupiter is attaining directional strength there are two major themes for this transit number one you will be working towards your financial growth number two also working towards your own wellness and happiness with jupiter being the second lord traveling 12 places away and the 11th house which is again ruled by jupiter hemmed between saturn and ketu these transits does indicate attaining financial abundance has not been easy in the last few months well it's happening it will happen but in a gradual way like you are not receiving what you expected what you desire but definitely jupiter is giving you the power to win in every situation it's giving you that luck factor optimism and i would say a lot of faith which is helping you to move ahead moreover you are reviewing your plans right now how to reach to your goals how to make the right corrections how to be more efficient this is the true blessing of jupiter this transit is more about what you seek versus what you are getting as per the divine plan so some gains are there and you will move ahead from the current situation but there are also certain situations which are happening out of nowhere unexpectedly but these are the changes which will take you to great heights in future everything happens for the higher good disappointment from friends may happen and it could also be from the family members as well like whatever you are doing for them it's not enough you're constantly giving and giving towards your connections but overall it's a very good time for personal growth and focusing on your wellness and happiness for pisces ascendant jupiter will transit from the 12th house it rules the 10th and the first house of your horoscope during this transit of jupiter you will be seeking refuge and solace in a work which you love or something which gives you relief or escape from the real world your 10th house is ruled by jupiter which means it is ruled by the sign of sagittarius and it's hemmed between saturn and ketu up to mid march 2022 this might give immense workload or a situation at the work front is not supportive it's a bit tense or underwhelming it's like you're constantly working and working but don't know where you are going this further is been getting more intense because jupiter being the first lord is transiting 12 places away in the 12th house so definitely there's a disconnection from the world but this disconnection is happening for the good because as the first lord jupiter is transiting from the 12th house in the kumbha rashi kumbha again i want to tell you it's about retaining the life retaining the prana within your body so with jupiter's transit in the 12th house what are you retaining you are retaining your assets your finances your valuable skills qualities energy you are retaining all of this to run on a long run you are looking towards sustainability how to attain your long term goals you are preparing for a major future change so this is the time to take a bit of rest and work on saving your energy and power working on your wellness is also important 
okay you might um, have some issues with your eyesight with your um, energy headache so you need to fix that right now because a lot of work is happening in the near future for some people this transit could bring a trip to the foreign lands maybe because of um, a visit to a spiritual place or maybe for higher learning better work opportunities more guidance is coming through the divine this guidance is coming through your intuition whatever you feel right now it's happening for a reason there are certain messages coming to you and these messages are from the divine so a very brilliant transit to connect with the divine connect with your inner self some unexpected expenditures may happen but rahu in the third house in taurus well it's making sure that you are ready to face all the competition it's promising you the ability to constantly expand your finances no matter if the expenditures are more your wealth your finances are constantly growing with the rahu's transit